Centimetre by centimetre, Cambodia is being cleared of landmines and other explosives. It has to be a slow, thorough process. The consequences of missing one can be fatal. This was a controlled detonation of two anti-tank mines found in the west, near the border with Thailand. Many people living, particularly farming, in areas that have landmines are in constant danger. This farmer survived with a broken leg when his rice harvesting machine ran over an anti-tank mine recently. His friend did not. It's an old path we've used many times, but we'd never driven on a mine. Unfortunately on that day we did, and it exploded. It's estimated up to six million landmines were planted in Cambodia in decades of civil and regional wars that started in the 1960s. As a result of the fighting, millions of other unexploded devices were also left behind. In the past 25 years, more than 2.6 million have been recovered. But there's a long way to go, too far to meet the United Nations target of total eradication. We strongly believe that we cannot make it by year 2019. At this stage, we consider to request, ex, uh, replace our extension request by another 10 years. And that's only to clear anti-personnel mines, not anti-tank mines or other explosives. The Cambodians say one of the big problems is money. They simply don't have enough to fund operations like this properly. And as it becomes clear that they won't meet their target, that funding could become even more scarce. Most money comes from Japan and the United States. But the Cambodians admit as the process drags on, some donors will start taking their money elsewhere. They have 3,000 square kilometers left to clear. But even without a funding cut, it'll take another 30 years before the countryside can be declared safe. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Batambang, Cambodia.